the entire team on both yep. sides. They are right here. I mean, look at how much infantry is here. This is what you like to see, you know? This is why this is why you play this game. Alright? This might not be the most effective way to play. Might not be the most efficient way. But this is why you play squad. You just open up. Hey guys, Moidog here. And today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down. And this one we have the Turkish land forces up against a regular militia on Gorodok. This is Gorodok Invasion V4. And a little word of warning, the first start to this game, you think it's gonna be a stop. The Turks are gonna just roll right through. Defenders can't do anything and you're gonna be asking, Moy, why did you even show this game? Just patience, okay? This is one of those games where the attackers play perfectly, then the defenders pull it out, and it ends up being an amazing slugfest over the course of an entire game. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, and would it help out if I told you that later on there'd be a super fob? Yeah, exactly, I thought so. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map, game mode, or faction you'd like to see in the next one. And don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream every weekday, and if I'm not uploading a video, I'll also be dual streaming on YouTube. So Twitch, YouTube, pick your platform of choice, and I'll see you live. But that's it for me. Enjoy the video. Peace. All right, I in the sky, and this is Gordok. Gordok Invasion V4. We are on board with the Turkish land forces uh, coming from the southwest main up against a regular militia, which are in the northwest main. So this Gordok usually have a lot of zigzags. Gordok on Invasion V4 for at least this layout. We have a whole western layout, starting with the first point as in Desna up to uh, River Fort, the Neva Upper. Uh, it was this ambush hill, yard apartment, shipping yard. Turks start with a bunch of lodges, a few cobras, one with the MG, one with the MG remote weapon system, a 50 cal, uh, the Mark 19 pars, the MG3 pars, the 50 cal uh, pars, and then the 25 mil pars, as well as a 25 mil ACV 15 and an M60 T tank that spawns in about 10 minutes. Helicopter in a couple minutes as well. And the irregular militia have a bunch of lodges, some armored. Uh, modern techni technical dishka, just a dish dishka techie. Uh, the 50 cal techie, MTLB with the rocket pods, two of those. Uh, a T62, AA, MTLBs, and a grad, and an SPG. So we have a whole lot to look forward to for Militia. Uh, this is a very, very fun matchup. Militia against uh, the Turks. And the rollouts, we can see the very first point is just over this hill. Um, there you go. You can see the dome ahead of you. So already really close and the amount of infantry that we already have for militia, quite a few on the point itself. Looks like the south, uh, south push though, this whole road infantry and vehicles going to be pushing up and they might run. They have an MG, one irregular militia guy. MG. You can see him yeah, lighting up on the hill here. And oh man, he just gets rocked by that GL. Oh, he I made a mistake. <laughs> he made a mistake. Opened up MG versus uh, grenade launcher. That 40 mil is, uh, it's, there you go. Easy. Lodgy's rolling up the coast here. The Turks, uh, based on the FOB creation marks, they want to set up a FOB on the south direct to Desna and then southeast. So this is a good attack point. Uh, militia fobs up on the northwest to deny the area and then out on the point itself so kind of good good for everyone oh hold on a second hold on a second we have acv and a cobra just on the other side of this field there he goes opening up and that's not going to work. They can't even get the Cobra Militia. ACV, 25 mil, opens up. And there you go. MTLB just unable to do anything. I mean, MTLBs in general, just very thin skin. That 25 mil tears Thank right you, through it. I'm glad I could provide a decent enough distraction for you. So you can hear Jeffrey on comms. He was in that Cobra that just nearly got popped. So unfortunate to lose. Well, pretty much... <laughs> 
pretty much uh, lose an MTLB for free. You'd want to at least kill an armored car with that MTLB, and instead uh, you lose both good a AA coverage and then those lightly armored... I mean, that AA, that could have torn through the ACV as well. So uh, just very unfortunate. Infantry push. Look at all the blue, though. Big blue wave coming across the uh, the hill from the south side. And that is a that's a lot of Turks. Oh, that is a lot of Turks. The point, I think they're almost on the point. They are. This should be uh, captured here soon. Engage enemy, uh, lodging. And not. Oh, they're just started to cap. Just started to cap. Turkey. And this is just. This is what happens when you have a, a, a team that just wants to push together. Uh, we're going to take a look at the helicopter. It looks like they're trying to... All squads parked enemy vehicles. You have a wolf pack on point. <laughs> uh, looks like they're trying to uh, provide a little bit of air cover. See, they have... Well, there he goes, getting shot. Looks like AA. Uh, a, little, a couple AA bursts. Coming into the backside of that tail. Door gunner opening up with the MGs. And he's trying to lay into the militia. You can see right it's here, lodging, setting up uh, a fob. Oh my goodness, look at the MG! Aimbot, uh, Cameron, Gumboya, and Jaffa, and one more. IHOP, they all go down from the MG. What a burst from the door gunner. That is incredible. That, that thing is hard to shoot at that uh, altitude as well. Just good eyes, good shots from the door gunner there, laying into that uh, squad. And that, that's going to prevent them, a squad, uh, is it two or six? Um, either way, they're not able to set up a fob. Uh, and this is just going to be an easy cap. Infantry spilling all over into the point. And should be just about done. About 20% to neutral. Grad rocket firing. Grad rocket firing, they are saying. All right, oh, there it is. Grad's landing right on the hill. And it's a little far from the objective area, but it doesn't matter because look at all the infantry. It's cutting off all of the support. And then it just kills an entire infantry squad worth of Turks. And they're unable to get back onto the objective. And that actually might give the infantry enough time to spawn in from the north side. You can see this is where the hab is. Uh, Venom, Cameron, Slow Turtle. That, that grad strike might have just helped the infantry uh, get a chance to spawn in and you can see the objective area is just outside that hab if they can get infantry just into this tree line they can defend the cap cobra with the was it mg3 i think that's the remote weapon system one oh no it is the open top typical uh, typical boot and we <laughs> wiener master 420 <laughs> Uh, just running all over the point. And only 196 tickets um, for uh, for Turkey. They've pretty much lost nothing. Another Cobra coming in. And this is going to cut off the fob. And I think Militia are just going to be stuck in here and watch the point right in front of them go down. Pierre... He doesn't get the engine somehow. Misses that engine compartment, so the... Cobra able to just fall back as the other one, another 50 cal opening up and just locking down this hab. You can see, look at all the infantry. It is nearly capped and this is just... It, <laughs> there's like two squads just stuck in this tiny little shack just getting pinned down and suppressed by three different machine guns. This, this is why I, I really dislike putting habs in buildings because it looks like a safe a safe space, but now you're actually just stuck and you're locked into this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Typical Boo just having a field day. If any of them squirt out, they're, I mean, <laughs> Alpha Helix gets his head shot off from the window. This is just a turkey shoot. This is, is borderline toxic. This is bullying. Look at this. <laughs> and look, you don't even need to see. You, you just have to fire into it. I don't know exactly how we're going to do this, but we're going to need a lot of armor support. 
Unbelievable. So that that will uh, be the end to this little militia crew. Also, if you notice, the radio is being dug right down by Kobe Wan Shinobi. Yeah, I'm leaving in 10 seconds. If we're quick. This is going to be tough for militia. They have just lost Desna. Uh, you get 100 tickets per cap, and you start off with 200 tickets, the attackers. The oh, attackers, so the Turkish uh, land forces, have only lost 12 tickets for this entire push. So they're Seven at almost 300. And as we look a little bit north, Six, River Fort has not a uh, single militia I'm person on it. This could be a really... Oh my goodness. And they're just... Keep it up. USMC saw running in. And he kills two. Can he kill the last one? Firecats up on the top. Uh, USMC knocking out Jaffa and the rest of us. Enemy, uh, Firecat, the last one in the Hab. And oh, he does go down, USMC. But he takes a couple out. Hab also going down in about maybe 10 or so seconds. And that will be a very, very good push. If you guys want to know how to take a point, that is how you take a point. If you notice... You had uh, one attack fob, a second attack fob. I think they actually dug it down so they didn't lose tickets. Um, and the entire team just pushed straight from the objective. It's sometimes, I mean, it sounds like very obvious, but you need to just play the objectives. Especially, there's a lot of times when, uh, look, main to Desna is what? Less than a thousand meters away. Sometimes you have a lot of teams that like to do just they like to be cute. They want to go up and around. They want to do big flanks. They want to blah, blah, blah. No, you just need to push the objective. If you have your at least two infantry squads and a vehicle or two pushing it, uh, you're going to usually take it or at least get yourself in a good position to take it soon after Turks managing to do that really, really well. And we can see we're going to move away from this little kind of sporadic fighting for just a second because Hound and force, was it uh, turned that laser almost. off, setting up a new attack fob. And River Fort is wide open. We have a handful of infantry, but they don't have a spawn point nearby. We have, uh, was it Dr. Coke, Cluster, um, Buff, <laughs> Buff, <laughs> Buff Fimboy Six Foot. Uh, um, yeah, you know, those, those yeah, guys. They're, uh, they're running from Neva up or down to Riverfort. Um, and hey, if you got a six-foot person defending the objective, that is a, that's a Star Wars defense. And hold on a second. Lodgy running right through the middle of that infantry, too. I have one of my guys dig down the radio at Desna in the south. And shots going off. Getting stuck right in the middle. Mac just falls out the back. Infantry has to dismount because they are stuck and they're getting tagged from the right side they're getting tagged from the back side in the wrong spot with this lodgy decided to go off-roading and now caught right in the middle of a militia uh, infantry squad that was moving too as well and dr coke you can see just sneaking up on the back side you have a, a pars ifv with that 50 cal trying to light up their self still just laying and hidden in a bush and decides to shoot an RPG exactly at Mac. That's, oh my, he shoots one RPG at one infantry when he had an opportunity to hit like three or four in one go. MG opening up, buff Fib Boy as well, shooting down. Matt goes down, cluster up on the left side now. Their self is still alive, hiding behind the tree. And the Turkish land forces have found themselves in a really tough spot. Speaking of like saving tickets before, this is kind of a waste of tickets at the moment. And it's all just from one or two infantry. You can see the, the red outlines. There's just a handful of them. And now Dr. Coke, if he pushes up, he can knock out this rally. The rally is this group of uh, backpacks right there. If he can squash this, this squad has no more spawn and you're going to lose your lodgy. You're going to lose the tickets from give ups and you might even lose this pars if it sticks around and gets tagged by AT. Grenades going more, off man. as Dr. Coke just tries to snake his way up and I, did he pick up the rally? Did squad seven? I think squad seven just picked up the rally. Unless it's squashed and I'm going crazy. If Squad 7 actually picked up that rally, that is a huge play. I mean, help with that. Just let me know.
Infantry is still trying to bandage. You can see that's the squad leader. Hey, there's nobody protecting that southern side of uh, the river side of uh, river fortification. We're like rolling in right now. And you Without can see both. Oh, grenade there. going off. You see both no, sides. Good years. kill on the Lodgy. That was a full attack fob Lodgy. Infantry still in. Dr. Coke pushing up and getting tagged from his left. He's finally got some support coming in, and that should finish it off. That's going to be a full squad wipe. The Turks lose an entire squad and a Lodgy. Good push, good push, good push. But as horrible as that was, that actually might have just saved Riverfort. The infantry squad for the a regular militia got stuck onto trying to kill uh, hey, the infantry squad for the Turks, the and that paused minutes. their run into yeah, River hey, Fort. Uh, River uh, Fort enemy, oh, shit. is now completely secured shit. by the Turks. Uh, they still got about a minute or so one, before they actually you take time, it. Can you bring back uh, some more build and, and some a little bit of ammo? Because that way, when we go to the next point, we'll have some put in the lodging. MTLB. Uh, we're on our way. MTLB, yeah, this the. Oh, I thought this was the rocket pod. It's the um, it's like a BTR cannon MTLB. Yeah, there it is. So MTLB with uh the BTR top. Thought it was the uh, SM7B rocket pod MTLB, but it isn't. So helicopter coming in on the point behind that's just kind of overwatching so this is the the new attack fob and landslide he's trying to get nice and sneaky up here i don't think that's going to do anything though 250 tickets uh to 787 so losing about uh, almost 50 tickets so far to take another objective and that's probably not going to do it neva upper though all right he Place your bets. I don't want to say this is a super fob before I see it, but it looks like a super fob situation. Hey, squad one, uh, don't pick up super three. Place your bets if they will be able to hold uh, yeah, sure thing. Neva upper. Yeah. Just take them wherever, honestly. Or just don't land them anywhere. And the grad coming in as well. The oh, grad has been doing do. work. Hold the hostage. Knocked out the whole north side, and that's, that's gonna be very killing a quite a quite a lot of infantry. But you just don't have infantry to follow it up. If you have crate rider, uh, Mayevsky, certified uh, priest, Terrain, Cameron, Chicago, these yeah, guys, yeah. a couple are down. But if you have infantry following up, you actually might be able to defend this. Yeah, man, of course. This grad barrage is great. If it was honestly just about 50 right, so meters be further, be it'd be completely be knock be something out. Infantry holding on to Neva Upper in what is about 30 seconds, 20 seconds now until it's capped. And that's going to be another point that is basically free for Turkey. So the big question now, you, you give up two points for free. And I'm not saying the squad who built this FOB basically gave up those two points in order to build the FOB. But when you get rolled so hard that you only lose 50 or so tickets as the attackers... And you trade two points for that. That is easy. That is way too easy. Crate Rider coming around the backside gets smoked by Kobe right Wan. Now. Yeah. It's gotta be dairy farm processing. Farm process. Dairy farm. What's up? So, it's now Neva Upper they're seeing on comms. Uh, run to the river for a lift. And you can hear them talk on command chat for a second. They say they've, they've got to be doing a super fob. And if you're a uh, squad, squad leader at this point, need more, a lift again. I never picked them up. If you're a squad leader at this point on the attacking side, it, it's now almost obvious that that's what they're doing because Desna had a fob. It was overrun pretty quickly. Uh, River Fort had nothing. And so what else do you have? You have to pick a point somewhere in the middle that's being super fob. So uh, Turkey has not used any of their assets. They, they still have their UAV. They have their artillery. Uh, their rocket barrage. So both sides can still, you know, kind of knock out a hab if they really want to with just one command ability. And now that we have the T-62 online, I think the the M-60T is ready. We can see he's, he's way on the west side. This I don't like. Yeah, I, I, I really yeah. dislike this. 
This is a uh, World of Tanks no, type play or War Thunder or... play, playing all by themselves. That'd be appreciated. That'd be appreciated. And you kind of want to stick, stick with your buddies if you're being honest. So we'll see how the T62 comes into play. Uh, pars is that the pars or that is the ACV? That is a pars. South side of Neva and just trying to figure out now what they have ahead of them because this should be kind of super fobby. I, dude, I don't know. This doesn't look super fobby to me, guys. Does this look like a super fob to you? Uh, it just looks like a fob. You know? <laughs> it just does. I see a lot of mines. I'll turn this off. I, I see hey, uh, they're doing forward, some stuff forward. on Ambush Hill. Oh, hold on a second. Watch out, watch out on enemies uh, on my Zermaka. There's enemies there. Alright, how much do you need, Command? Uh, that's not me. We have an SPG techie that is just right, below us here, uh, and he was lining up a PARS. These Turkish IFVs were rolling radio, right in so front of him. Uh, the marker was and I think he's now he missed it. Away. But the PARS went right on the other side of this burb. So right in this no field and just on point. barely got out of the way. Uh, but now you you're going to hear vehicles nearby. Uh oh. No way. Uh, just to SPG. Well. Could it be easier for him? Yeah, there is a vehicle right next to you. Can he get the dismount? Oh, he's like... <laughs> and he does. Just barely able to pull it off before the infantry pokes their head out. Right in front of me too, right in front of me. Nearly getting killed by the infantry dismounts. Well played. And now the MG3. Remote weapon system trying to... Oh, actually knocks out a tire. You don't want to just poke your head out again on the SPG, even though it is just an MG3. Very easy to lose that vehicle. And we're going to let this guy go because way out west, we now have on the objective, squad 10 is in their tank up on the northeast. And you have also... Uh, and we just lose a PARS there earlier, so some AT. But you have uh, squad 9, the... Turkish tank out west, as well as uh, Jeffrey in that scout car. If you can see me, just tell me to move and just shoot through this bush right in front of me. M60T, now roll it in and. Um, SPD truck destroyed my Lodgy truck. Um, we won't be able to set up an attack app, so if anybody in the squad lead can do that, uh, I'm available if you need. Um, yeah, you want to pick us up actually then? Uh, I'm yeah, sure. That's a little bit more up the hill to the left. Yeah, I'm on the way. Oh my. Good comms, trying to figure out their lodging situation after the squad just lost theirs. Uh, that was the SPG. Oh. I'm sitting here looking for the fucking cannon on this instant MCLB. Squad 9, or squad 8 rather. And the SPG techie that we just saw knock out the lodgy. Just shoot through the bush. Just straight ahead. Straight ahead. He now might be in a position to hear that tank or see that tank. Oh, it's an idiot. It's an idiot. <laughs> or might even try to go in for the helicopter kill. Oh, God. Oh, and just barely going to miss it in the trees. He oh, goes I'm for it. Oh, he Stay hits the treetop, actually. Not stop me. Just unfortunate. SPG, and he's reloading. Is he going for it? Can he see it through the trees? Yeah, yep, I guess you're hitting trees. Yeah, he can't. Uh, I saw just smoke. And oh, yeah, he... Uh, and, tree. well, he's lining it up. Back off. And misses it. Launches it at the helicopter, but he might actually get himself Uno reversed here. I said it was a... There was a you. Cobra. I, I literally was looking for the cannon. Out the like south, he's not going to see it. See it. So SPG yeah, just terrorizing right. the helicopter a little bit, and honestly, we might just be oh, SPG gamer. Kind of 
might be able to knock out another vehicle here, but the the tank, this is the big the big question mark is if the M60T can actually get in the fight here for the Turks. Just be careful. SBG on the other side of this hill, he should see this M60. Oh, he hits it. What a shot. Doesn't manage to even knock out a component. Very unlike, uh, unlucky. Very unlucky. SPG has to reposition here. Try to get more clear shot on that M60. But this tank needs to be very careful now that the SPG spotted him. Squad 2, do you... Can you take out that SPG? The north... Hill over here has that T62. And you can see him. Um, that's the MTLB, rather. MTLB right on the hill. M60 should be able to peek out and see in just a second here. T62 has backed up a bit. Check him out. He's just being very patient, the M60. And he should poke out and see this MTLB ahead of him. Old. Oh, I still can't see him. Oh, and he gets tagged by hat. That's track right side. That was a hat kit. And you can see the smoke hey, bellow from the field. And looks like the coax should mop him up. He does. Eva unit goes down, but look, the infantry are all over him. The gobbler. Infantry. Oh, they're tossing anti-tank grenades. One throws it a little too far. He throws it over him. Two anti-tank grenades right over the tank. And finally one in the back. Another one into the engine block. And right to the side, just getting ambushed by these little anti-tank grenades. Absolutely hilarious to see. It's like throwing spitballs at this thing. Another one. The tank crew has no idea what is happening. If just one more had landed, this tank would be dead right now. It is all on its like last legs here. Oh, and he's going for the knife. Oh, he's going for the the full auto. Enemy radio north of Neva, so and this M60 is now. going to be, unless something absolutely insane happens, he's going to be dead. Easy, just mopped up by any of the infantry that's uh, out northeast. What a, an amazing play by uh, the ambushes here. And oh, the infantry gets killed by the blast. He's standing a little too close to the tank. That front cannon, the overpressure just melts him. And now you have infantry running in from the other side. This is... Uh, Oh, Parr is trying to offer some support. Me down the road. Uh, you know what? They might great. save this. They might save this. This Parr's laying into the hole and he's still up. There's a uh, Cameron, first RB Cameron, still laying prone next to the tank. So the Parr's crew can help him. Anti tank misses. M60 is just barely hanging on. Oh my goodness, it's, it's a team kill! Unbelievable! Hoagie tries to shoot the anti-tank grenade into the M60, but instead it gets bodied by Cameron. Cameron takes all of the blast and the M60T. Oh, and that's a deflection! Another one fires off. The M60T is still up. They still have a chance, and this pars. Might be doing just enough. Another AT just kind of getting absorbed by the armor, it looks like. Your FBI agent uh, still in the main gun. Uh, oh, and a tandem out. round. Well, it actually hit hits the pars and it doesn't hit the tank. That tandem round would have killed the tank instead. Looks like uh, Spork and Hectics lost a... Uh, Maybe a few wheels. Uh, I think grad rockets coming in, Knight. Yeah, grad rockets. Grads coming in, oh, and they yeah, they did overshoot. 
Oh man, that would have been absolutely clutch. And now you have infantry, uh, Jeffrey and stupid idiot coming in. They're trying to save this tank. The Turks are throwing everything into saving the tank. And then the irregular militia, you have a nice little demo team also trying to push, but they might get hit from the infantry off to their right without realizing it. Jogi shooting another anti-tank grenade and he misses again. It hits the dirt in front of the tank. He has to lay down prone and now he gets shot by infantry. Frost chain now pushing as well. Jeffrey knocked out Shugi and is going for another shot. Frost chain taking rounds. And he's getting pushed into hectics. He goes down. Infantry unable to get up to the tank for militia. And Turkish infantry might just make a play of the game and keeping this tank up. The tank is now getting repaired. Engine is trying to get repped by hectics. You can see him with that little yeah, hammer. And Scottish kid there. is the only um, infantry up for militia uh, after that little attack. And... This is yeah, this sure is thing. huge. You're at 285 tickets. You don't really care too much about the tickets. Uh, but if you can keep your tank alive, the snowball effect of having 300 tickets of infantry in order to push in is huge. Because you still have the T-62, which is up north. Uh, you have... Oh, hold on a second. We're going to have to swap on here. Speaking of the T-62 that's up north... Yeah, we really got to get a rep station for our tank. T-62 is in this field. He's right flanking now. around. I thought he was going to come down this road for a second, right down Main Street to Neva. Instead, he's flanking way around. Uh, there is still a big push. We can see the objective area. It's about half red, half blue, maybe a quarter blue, actually. Uh, enough Turks trying to get in on the north side to start to contest that point. But you now have, there it is, FBI Asian and Drizzly Sleep back in their tank. Despite Militia's best efforts, M60T hey, is wide, up. Um, golf and RTB, the only thing that could stop them now would be DLC is GTX and Pussy... Just, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here, why don't you guys uh, well, they don't have anything to kill them, though. Uh, there's no anti-tank, so this RPG... Uh, or they don't have to worry about any RPGs. So we're going to let the tank fall back, and in the meantime, the push... Well, looks like one mine actually takes up... Yep, Squad 8 goes down to a mine. That was... Ooh, that was a pars. So one par is destroyed, the other one turning tail and, and running. And unfortunately for, uh, not militia, for the Turks, you uh, also have a pars that's way eight. up north. They're kind of playing uh, World of Tanks again. Seven, they might get a nice Someone little ambush on Alaji, but oh, if you have this eight. pars okay. helping attack the infantry, we're going to go back down yeah, to the upper in just a second. My request for some reason. You, you might already yeah, have it by now. We can see Comrade, Commissar, and Anxiety yeah, in that pars. In southwest, FYI. And they're trying to be sneaky. There's a Lodgy just south of us. And Pars is trying to do their best to set up an ambush. And I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do it properly. So Pars, they heard the mortar that was down south. Oh, and okay. he's also a hat kit. That's hilarious. So if this Pars gets a little too brave, I think they're going to try to push this mortar, Bob. They only have an MG3. That could not pin anything uh, armored. Be careful on the road north of our main base. It looks like there's some mines there. And, oh, he is going to go in for the mortar. Doesn't realize that he actually has a tank and a heavy anti-tank kit in front of him. Which has going the mortar for the mortar idea? fob. If you can't just start and, like oh, he drives right by it. The hat kit on the mortar tube doesn't even see him either. Everyone in this game is oblivious. Tosses a bunch of smoke. And that might attract the... Look at the tank, the T-62, just right off the edge, but good concealment. Uh, I think Abin G8 is overran. 
And the tank was on the far side. Striker and Alpha Helix on the other side. Hat Kid misses him. So both sides just kind of doing absolutely nothing with that. In the meantime, this is a huge, huge push. Infantry overwhelming Neva Upper. And you can see the radio. Is it? It is full up. Um, XX is pushing in. IHOP holding the line. Sir, thank you. Trying to keep that radio yeah, up because the hab was overrun. Yeah, if you could tell Both sides. I know. I showed the map right when he died, and you missed it, and you guys are annoyed. I can't see how how the hab's overrun unless I'm able to see it. I'm sorry. Um, XX goes down. Uh, but the hab is now going to be spawnable for a uh, regular militia. 244 tickets to 662. The biggest hey, issue a, a, a mark, that Turkey is going to run into is if they can't get their vehicles the into the fight. The irregular militia, th th you really need to start clearing them out with that, uh, that 40. Oh, look at that wave spawn. Entire team spawning in. An entire team just pushing on to C1 kill 9-9. And he is the last one pretty much on the objective. Turks get completely pushed back by some good infantry. And if you can get your vehicles in play here, then infantry should be able to just overwhelm them when they get to close quarters. It's just this, it's kind of getting like zoned out, it seems like. Able to push in a little bit and then just can't, uh, can't mop it up. This is also a much more cluttered point than uh, the others the Turks were able to attack earlier. So they're not able to just shift W onto the point like before. Kim, Kimmy Jong Uni goes down to a grenade. Good shot. Are we gonna need artillery on uh, Neva Upper? Hab is overrun again. This Hab is gonna cause problems Probably. for militia. Mumbles go, does go down. He gives up almost immediately. Too late. The thing is, I have the Terrain goes down, goes down. Too late. Holding it. Gonna be real but infantry, are if they're able to hold right All here, right, they can actually so, overrun the right Hab. Now. So Vehicles now pushing in. Enemy uh, tank uh, west of Neva upper. Roger. I'm on my way to intercept it. So, vehicles now pushing in. You heard it on the command on. chat. They're calling out this tank. And that's about an accurate mark. So, we're up right, just west of the point. M60T, the one that was saved earlier. This might cost command, how are you doing up there with assets? militia. Uh, they might regret not finishing it off because he's now going to get a nice little flank. Cars as well, falling back. Looks like they're RTB. I mean, the Turks are actually doing really well about keeping their vehicles alive right now. MTLB coming in, trying to offer some support. Got a whole bunch of infantry just right in front of him. And he gets tracked! Certified Priest gets tracked, and he's just surrounded by Turkish infantry. And they are going to call in an artillery strike. You see that UAV mark on the point. Oh, hold on a second. USMC saw running in with that. I think it's a lat. And he might see that T-62. If he's able to track that T-62, he can just lay it up. Yes, he does have an RPG. He's able to lay it up for the M60T on its flanking trip. Should be easy shot. He really wants to make sure. Oh, he misses the track. Oh, no. Misses the track. The T-62 is just kind of like, what in the world? Oh, he hits it now. He had another one. Well, a little bit of a redemption. T-62 is now tracked. And there it goes. The T-62 takes a round right from the M60T. And that is such a long shot, too. M60T on the next burn. You can barely see it here. 
He is shooting right through the bushes. T62 gets tracked again, and now he's stuck facing forward. Flames spewing out the top of the turret, and that's going to be Dunzo. There you go. What a kill. AT with the assist. M60T with the perfect ambush. Just, just the one-two follow-up. You'll love to see it. Oh, and did he just take a shot? Oh, AT actually just misses. Oh, is that a crad? He's, he's getting shots at something. But behind us here, the artillery. This is Turkish artillery, and they are just... Oh, my God, the frames. My graphics card is overheating. Too many things are blowing. You got grad coming in. Artillery landing. Fortifications exploding. People dying. Oh, my goodness. 178 tickets to 618 as the frames. Can we get our frames back, please? Whew, I think we survived. The computer did not overheat. But on the other side of that arty strike, you have a, an infantry uh, push, and that's what you like to see. If you guys are wondering how to command properly, you need to get your squads into positions where after that artillery, you now have boots on the ground pushing to try to clear the gap. Because look, you got half the team on their face waiting to get picked up. And now you have infantry, TC Online, Dr. Rudin, uh, lit. They're all storming over the hill, and this is going to get some close quarters fighting here. Oh, they're taking actually their, their emplacements, jumping on that nice little lookout tower. Landslide, it looks like he's trying to just get some uh, another bunker or something up. Lit is going to charge him, going, oh, and he just shifts. <laughs> a nice little scream at the end there. Uh, some guy as well, full autos, too late right in the face. And this Turkish infantry is the fob overrun. The fob is overrun. There's just too much infantry surrounding the objective. You can see all along this hill. Militia need to push out and kill this infantry, otherwise they're donezo. He tosses an anti-tank grenade, Ace Rimmer, and he actually gets shot by Ethan. Ethan sneaking himself down the hill, gets tagged as well, and he goes down. This is an absolute uh, slugfest. Uh, attract vehicle right to your east. Might be able to get the hab up now, and it is! Hab is spawnable! Jeffrey588 running through the smoke. And he dodges some shots, lays down GE5J, might get whoopsie daisy here, and he does! Yes, he does! Jeffrey pulling it off. And finally, Gumboy Yaya. Knocking out Jeffrey, and the Turkish push, just not strong enough. 169, nice, tickets left. Uh, I, the, the radio's in the building. Infantry just spilling out, and now that it's spawnable, a regular militia. Oh, what a shot with the GL! That was uh, like the old school rifle grenades. Gunter the Penguin in beast mode get blasted. Skydog living up to his name. Flying overhead, trying to spot. And now you have, hold on a second. You have the PARS and the M60T trying to come in for some armor support. If they get this armor in play, they might be able to take Neva up or the Turks, but it, they're just getting stopped. The infantry battle has actually been absolutely impressive from Militia. Know, like, really Turkish infantry is weapons. really, really good. I was literally uh, doing that right now. Our armor needs to just lay back and just with HE whatever he can from this fucking, like in this area. M60T pulls up right on the top of the hill. He's got a whole battle. This whole infantry grind right in front of him. Knocks out an infantry on the south side. I'm trying to see if there's any AT. Hold on a second. Pars moving in. And there is... Just so much just crap in the ground for that par as they're trying to go around. They do need to be careful because there is a mine. Oh, and they're going to go around it. You see that mine, the little red dot. But if they're not careful on the way out, they might hit it. 
Diva Upper is getting just slammed by everything the Turks have now. Militia is just, I think their hab is still spawnable, and it is. Oh, hold on a second. Pars gets hit by AT. And he's just laying into this hill. Oh, another anti-tank grenade. Just throwing him, and it's causing the, the Pars to panic. He's on fire, just diving the point. He's not able to do anything. Just stuck right in the middle of this giant fob. Trying to pop smoke. I think, you know how like when squids ink when they're scared? That seems like that's what happened with the pars. Had no idea what to do, so just fired off. It smokes. Another pars engined out in the field. I can't tell if that's a ZU-23 or just a regular MTLP. And look at all the red. Oh, hold on a second. Speaking of red, Mick Expert? What is he doing? We got infantry laying in the field right behind the M6. The M6 is going to turn around and see him immediately. A regular MTLB. Is he pleading with him? Says, no, don't do it. Oh, he doesn't see him. No shot. He didn't see him. Sapper with his little beanie. Just trying to keep his head down. <laughs> It's like a gazelle stalking a lion right now. Uh oh, there it goes. Command hash should see him. He still doesn't. He's sprinting. Oh, and there he goes. Loses his head. <laughs> As an RPG slams in the front side. M60 stays up. Takes a round, but shrugs it off. And that pars. That is not feeling too good. Oh, what is this? Anti-air vehicle trying to fire into the M60T. And he's, he's giving it his best, but you can't really do much. Is he reloading right in front of the tank? He is reloading. It's still up. And there it goes. I, I don't know. Oh, wait, no, he's still alive. He's just trying to hit the tracks or knock out some component or something. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, that's a brave or stupid. I don't know. There's some crossover between the two. MTLB AA goes down. And AT just keeps peppering this M60. He just will not go down. He's going to have to reverse all the way back. That par is ahead of him died. You can see, look at all the red in front. That's why he's going to back up. The hab is still up for militia. Infantry trying to push on the north side. They are still getting in. We can turn on our dome. This is a capture area. You can see it's about even. But infantry are finally clawing their way in. And that's going to overrun the hab. Hab is now, yep, it's overrun. Yeah, and from the top down, right. you can see just how close they're getting. Oh, tossing a grenade, and what a grenade! Whitaker and Beast Mode goes down. Ace Rimmer, he does he does die, but not before he tosses that grenade. It's in that compound. Oh, tank shot M60T, knocks out Firebat, and another militia on that rock. And this is what the infantry needed. They needed that vehicle support. Dr. Rudin running in. They need to push up to that hab. I am John on the outside. He needs to be careful. About to get flanked. Dr. Rudin. No one sees him yet. MG3 opens it up. And how is he not? Oh, he's running straight in. Enemy hab spotted west. Oh, one brave Turkish soldier. And you have the remote weapon system. Oh, he lays into it. Infantry dead up top. And this might be the end. Unless they can stop Dr. Rudin. Infantry pushing in. Oh, watch the flank. And look at this last stand Alamo. I cannot believe Doctor is still up here. 
And infantry does manage to track, or not track, engine that Cobra. Cobra losing his engine right in front of the hab, and Doctor might flank around, and he doesn't see him. Oh, he goes, lays down prone. Why are you laying prone? What? He no shot. He actually pulled it off. Unbelievable. Lays prone and is fumbling with his rifle, but still manages to kill him. We have the tickets, guys. Just sit there. Infantry go. are now swarming, and this yeah, might be the end. 82 tickets to 503. Kobe Wan Shinobi is now pushing in. And that is Ace gets blasted. Good infantry coverage. Oh no, Kobe Wan Shinobi gets killed by an anti tank grenade trying to knock out the Cobra. And now you have a mortar barrage knocking out the north side. It is all going down on this point. Whitaker goes down, GE5J. Infantry are spilling in from the southeast side for militia. They're trying to get, are they capturing? Oh, they are capturing Neva upper, 50% to neutral. 74 tickets though. Another grenade by, <laughs> by Assassin. Trying to toss a grenade. Tosses another one, gets tagged himself, but he goes down. And Tree might be able to just lock him up with that MG. You need AT. Welsh Frost Shane has to bail out, nearly gets killed by the M60. And that is an almost neutral position. There is no other spawn point for Militia. Whoever's here has to kill them all. If you're Militia, you need to kill every single Turk here in order to get your FOB back up. And uh, she love Vanilla, nearly does it. Kimmy Jong Unny. Knocks him out, so whatever remains, it's what? Aloe Boy, Sky, IHOP, Cluster, and I think that's it. About five militia left on the objective, and it is neutral. Oh, they're calling a mortar barrage! This might save it! There's no infantry in the actual buildings at the moment. Mortar barrages, they don't have a ranging shot. They immediately just pop. What's the grad location? It's Mortar barrage. I've got somebody on my tank. Will it be too late? No, it's not! Mortar barrage knocks out half a squad already with the first one. Second volley coming in. And unbelievable. It's going to be close. This side on the south. Oh, Ethan goes down. The mortar barrage is just tearing through the Turkish infantry. Oh, Firefox goes down. Tree is still up. There's enough infantry nearby to keep the Hab overrun. Copy the Hab is to your west. I'll mark it. 66 tickets. So many people just died to that. Down to one chevron on the cap. Mortar barrage. Dude, Scobe. Dre, Senior, Giggles. They're in an indirect fire bunker. This is a this is a militia indirect fire bunker. It's actually protecting them. And now the grad is coming in. We'll see what happens here. 65 tickets. The 475 militia just barely hanging on. on the radio, taking it down now. Copy, nice work. And there it goes. They capture it, but just barely, nearly losing 300 tickets. So now you have Ambush Hill. Ambush Hill was actually super fobbed, and that actually might do it. This wasn't a, an actual super fob position, but there was enough. Uh, map assets, the buildings, they had enough ammo and supply to hold off enough, so... Uh, militia, they're hanging in there after losing the first two points we way too quickly. Cap up. This is probably gonna be super fun and ambush. Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah. right, helo one's available. There's an enemy... <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh my god. They use... Yeah. They just killed... I, I think it was traded one for two with the grenades. The GL, this is the, uh, that yeah, handheld automatic grenade launcher trying to clear it out. 
Grenade kills out another, and now you just have two left down below. They are going down with the ship. Disregard enemy grad. Look at this. <laughs> they just want to stay until the very end. They have an ammo. They have an ammo bag. They have the radio. They have two little spots. Oh my gosh. Are they just in there? Oh, yeah, they just bled out. A lot of infantry still yeah, dying. Right, the, uh, uh, can I get a supply drop on E7? I need to build a rep station. Uh, enemy vehicle here, seven yeah. back up. And, back oh, up, hold on a second. Pardon the quick camera oh, movement. Sorry, I needed that. Uh, I can use it on E7. The have. M60 T is out in the field and what they thought might be a safe spot. Oh, Grad's actually landing. That's not safe at all. Grad might have just shot a little too far, but it doesn't matter because a hat from in, in the trees nearly takes out the M60 T in one shot. You can see the turret has lost most of its traverse and it's actually on fire. AT as well on the right side now, lining up the shot and that could be it. And it does. The RPG tandem round, the nice little waterlogged football, heavy loop, and lands right on the turret yeah, of the M60. Militia anti-tank doing what the T62 couldn't. What an ambush, and that might just be enough to help the defense up at Ambush Hill because they're already starting to get pushed. And as much as I want to see the last stand in Neva Upper, this is this is the game right here. 134 tickets to 457. This is the attack fob for the Turks. This is a defense super fob for the militia. And you now have a creeping barrage that is about to just open up the point. Mayevsky is the first casualty and Crate Rider. I'm not sure if he can get out in time. He needs to run. Oh, he's not going to do it. He gets absolutely mopped up by the Artie as it just creeps forward as Grad Rockets actually fly right in front of the camera. Look at the frag. You see all oh, the little shrapnel. Just like one giant fragmentation round. Sprinkling. There goes my frames again. I think we're at like two FPS. Worth it. There you go. All right. Can the computer save it? My, I'm looking at my water cooler. My PC literally went up six degrees push it, push just it. from that. <laughs> it's nearly over. Wanting to overheat. I think they super popped this. They got barbed wire on the south and the west side. And of the you know what? That actually, that withstood the attack. A few emplacements have gone down. They did have um, an anti-tank weapon that is is One, would you be able to has to be rebuilt. North of ambush and get a, another attack cap but up? not too shabby. 124 yeah. tickets to 428. And now the infantry are going to start flooding in. Witchy, needless effort, all starting to push the rocks, and they've at least killed. Um, you can see that a lot of the sandbags and stuff have gone down, but there's enough infantry spawning in. Look at all the red. I mean, look at how much infantry are here right now, and this is a fob. But Witchy might actually catch a few with their hands in their pants here. Shovels out, and he goes down does take out one. Oh, hey, squad 10. I got what a guy. shot uh, see what he's trying to actually hit just trying to lay into infantry way on the back and in the distance I don't actually think he's hitting anything at the moment but they're gonna want another position because now you have the pars this is a vehicle fight IFV against IFV and the Turks win ACV with that 25 mil up top, but they might not see. There's another MTLB right below us. Oh no, that's the T62. T62 has respawned and it's going to take out both these IFVs if they just push W a little bit quicker. Some logistics going wire down there. 
T62 has two Turkish vehicles that think they're safe. Hey, somebody needs to dig down that And they're <laughs> about to be That's the complete opposite of that. Yeah. ACV turns around and says, all right. <laughs> T62, oh, good concealment. You're going to just want to uh, send around through the smoke of the T62, see what happens or not. Concealment might have actually just saved the ACV. Doesn't matter. 50 cal opens up, knocks out the pars that was in front of him. T62 misses. And now the ACV is going to try to at least take out one vehicle, and it does. Takes out the 50 cal techie. T62 needs to aim a shot and actually hit it, and he does. Took a little bit more than you would have wanted, but tracks down the ACV. T62. Mops up two big vehicles. Copy. I'm gonna create a northern attack bomb with squad six. Eighty-seven tickets, and that is why you wanted to keep your tank alive. Those fifteen tickets are important, but more important is the firepower. That hold on a second. What? Needless effort has just gone around the back, and he has actually dug. Oh no! He C4 himself! He got too close! He dug down the radio, dropped his C4. Guys, if you don't know this, C4 actually penetrates through buildings. He actually killed himself with his own C4 to knock out the radio. And unfortunately unable to finish off that radio. But that's gonna give enough infantry Oh, maybe not. I was going to say it's going to give them enough time, the uh, Turkish infantry, to start pushing. But there's just not enough. So even with that spawn timer, Hab is coming back up, going to be up in about 15 seconds. You're going to have enough uh, militia spawning in to probably prevent any type of, uh, I guess, re-overrun. Oh, and that is a horrible... Is, it, is this a repair station? No way. Why would you put a repair station in the middle of an open field? Are you serious? This <laughs> All right, this is is this wait, hold on a second. Did no, did they actually Is this razor wire all the way through? Oh, they never got to it. They never got to it. They laid it down. They got like half of it. <laughs> and then they of course, the only place where Turks are actually pushing, they don't have razor wire, right? <laughs> Turkish infantry pushing the objective, and they also have... This is good. This is very, very good. This is how you want to push with uh, the Turks. You need... Oh, you have Mumbles actually taking down uh, the razor wire, so they do have more razor wire on the outside. But you want, especially for the Turks... I mean, this works for any faction... But you need uh, vehicles supporting infantry and infantry supporting vehicles. The PARs alone are actually pretty squishy. The vehicles for the Turks are just not too good. But added in that infantry and you're really, really effective. Mortar is coming down and they're actually... Uh, you see the infantry have been pinned down by suppressing fire and mortar. So starting to mop it up. You see a few starting to back away. Beast mode, Drizzly knocked Squad up a few infantry and pulling them back the out fire. towards the HAB area. T-62 has now showed up and, well, looking at the points, the entire team on both yep. sides, they are right here. I mean, look at how much infantry is here. This is what you like to see, you know? This is why, this is why you play this game, all right? This might not be the most effective way to play. Might not be the most efficient way, but this is why you play squad. You just open up. He's got anti-tank gun behind him. Infantry just holding the top of the hill. I mean, look at all of this. If they get a bit more accurate mortar fire, they can start mopping up the Turks. Terrain pushing in, trying to keep him up by the rocks. Cameron as well. Jeffrey running in. And he sh shoots Terrain from point blank. It is all... Oh, and what a flank! Beast mode. Dexteriate. Drizzly. They did a nice little flank on the side. But look at all of the, the logs. 
There's just no way in. This is actually a giant fob. And they lose a Lodgy, it looks like, the militia, but they also we take out their remote weapon system. Cobra, 61 tickets. We need armor support, bad. Working on it. And at this point, you want maybe like another we airstrike. He's sitting over here with Mark and he's fucking us up right now. Yeah, T62 just having a field day. Oh my goodness, Shizzle and Matt. Oh, in the grad! Oh my goodness, Lance Square! In the middle of this infantry squad, already five down! Crisscross, the only one up! This is just bullying! Grad just perfectly dialed in. Another barrage coming in. So if we can slow down the attack a little bit for the next five minutes. Uh, oh, a few to short. To oh, no. Grad, a couple uh, short, and he knocks out half of his. Oh, yeah. no. It's a catastrophe. Northern defensives just absolutely lasered by one grad rocket. The grad doesn't care. He's getting kills either way. What a, a barrage. Oh, and what is this? The uh, pars doing a drive-by on the T62. You right, can't do that, pars. You're not the right vehicle. T62. Oh, and they've opened it up for the 25 mil. Oh, and the tank, 18. Maybe they knew more than I did. They've baited the T62 into chasing them. Anti-tank slamming into them. T62 is now stuck in the middle of the field and he's starting to smoke. T62 needs to be very careful now. He's in a very bad spot if he gets tracked. You hear of a command comms, they killed the grad and this is where one of the AT, this hill. That was a nice little ambush. I don't know if that was on purpose or, or what. Nothing else though. What was about to be a really crazy ambush. It might be a little bit scary for a second for the T-62, but ultimately not going to do anything. 36 tickets to 320. Three we got three minutes. We've lost 20 tickets in those past two and a half minutes. So we need to just slow it down, guys. And militia seem to finally be pushing out of their super fob, trying to start overwhelming the attack position. And hold on a second. Five, tell your blueberries to fall back. You guys are still pushing in there. This position yeah, right here. Telling the uh, people that are pushing right now, and they, all they said was 30 tickets. Lieutenant General Tease yeah, Mark Hahn. Same response here. He has a nice anti-tank position over watching this hill here. Let's see if we can see what he sees. There's actually, on the other side of this minutes, berm, there's a vehicle. Two minutes to artillery. Two yeah, minutes to artillery. I'm not sure if he's going to see him. Vehicle is stationary. And 31 tickets now. 30 rather. Not sure what's happening. The the pars started engaging the T62 for whatever reason on the repair station. T62 just fires back. This could be the game here. One or two bad. Uh, oh, anti-tank nearly comes in and tags the retreating pars. Anti-tank maybe has one more shot at it. Oh, the T62 threads the needle. One minute. One minute, guys. One minute. We've lost another 15 tickets in the two and a half minutes. Yeah, we lost what a snipe from the T62 through the trees. And 16 tickets left. 
Yeah, oh, hold on a second. Anti-tank tries to hit the T-62. They get it a little, a little short here. Another anti-tank infantry. Oh, and that's a Lodgy. You might just lose your other tickets here. This is not what you want to do when you're near the end of your game. T-62 dialing it up. And that's going to be it. Need more medics. Another six tickets goes. Hey. AT into the back of the T-62. And, well, that's about all she wrote. Four tickets left. Anti-air. Open them up. Four tickets. 298 for Militia. And, well, two tickets left. That is going to be it. What a play by both teams. Unbelievably good attack from the beginning for the Turks, and you gotta give them credit. Militia just stuck it out on Neva Upper, holding the line, allowing Ambush Hill for a super fob, and they pull it off. 296 kills for the Turks, 284 for Militia, 117 revives, 264 for Militia. G, geez.